story time with Juicy. Dog Days of School Written by Kelly DePucchio Illustrated by Brian Biggs Charlie did not like going to school. He was tired of practicing his letters. He was tired of drawing pictures. He was tired of trying to explain himself to the teacher. Charlie was even tired of being tired. Sunday nights were always hard for Charlie. His stomach did flip-flops and he could not fall asleep. You're lucky you don't have to go to school, Charlie told Norman. Norman rolled over on his back and snored. Charlie looked out the window and found the brightest star in the sky. I wish I was a dog, Charlie sighed. On Monday morning, Charlie woke up on the floor. He scratched his ear with his right foot and yawned. Charlie's mother came into the room and patted Norman's head. It's time to get up for school, sleepyhead, she said. Norman jumped down from Charlie's bed. He ate breakfast, he brushed his teeth, and then he hurried out the door to catch the bus. Charlie smiled. He rolled over on his back and snored. Ah. At school, Norman took Charlie's seat at table two. The children gave Norman a curious look and went back to practicing their letters. Norman practiced his letters too. Back at home, Charlie looked out the window and watched the leaves fall for hours and hours and hours. On Tuesday, Norman went to school and made a clay sculpture and a food pyramid. He ate birthday cupcakes and took a long, cold drink from the water fountain. Charlie ate dry biscuits and took a long, cold drink from the toilet. On Wednesday, Norman learned how to play house and kickball and the maracas. Cha-cha-cha. Charlie learned how to play fetch and how not to. <coughs> On Thursday, Norman built a house out of blocks, painted a self-portrait, and went on a field trip. Charlie went on a field trip too. <coughs> on Friday, Norman ran into some trouble with the scissors and the glue. The teacher scolded him for chewing on his pencil and the table and her shoes. And he had to sit through a long, awful, boring story about a cat. <sighs> Across town, Charlie had to sit through a long, awful, boring day at the dog groomers. Mm -hmm. The weekend wasn't much better. Norman tried to play soccer. He tried to sit through a movie. And he tried to finish a triple hot fudge banana sundae with extra whipped cream. <coughs> Meanwhile, Charlie spent his weekend locked up in the laundry room. By Sunday evening, Charlie had had enough. He tried to write his parents a note, but they couldn't read it. He tried to draw them a picture, but it wasn't very good. He tried explaining to them, I'm not Norman, but his parents only heard, ruff, ruff, ruff. Bad dog said Charlie's mother, and she put him outside in the cold.
The wind howled and Charlie shivered. Creepy shadows danced across the lawn. Charlie's stomach did flip-flops and he could not fall asleep. He looked up at the stars and sniffed. I really wish I was a boy again. On Monday morning, Charlie woke up in his own bed. His mother came into the room and kissed his forehead. Time to get up for school, Charlie, she said. Charlie jumped out of bed. He got dressed. He ate breakfast. He brushed his teeth. Charlie went to school. And Norman? Norman took a very, very long nap. Join us next time when we read Dragon Was Terrible on It's Storytime with Juicy. Hi, this is Juicy. Did you know that we have a website where you can have fun by solving a hidden mystery puzzle based on this story? It's free. Check it out along with our other puzzles by visiting storytimewithjuicy.com. Have fun.